Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. As always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community that you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success to the best of my ability. To that end, in today's Divi Nation short, I'll be sharing with you three simple, super simple, in fact, modifications that you can make to Divi's header. Let's get into it. In this Divi Quick Tip, I'll be showing you how to make three super simple modifications to Divi's header. First, I'm going to show you how to display your site title instead of a logo image in your menu. Second, I'm going to show you how to subtly change the new slide in Divi header style to a slide over style, and I'll explain in a minute what exactly that means. Third and finally, I'm going to show you how to add a fun little animation to your drop down arrows on your drop down menu. Uh, so you can see, I don't want to show it just yet, but you can see this drop down menu right here. I'm going to show you how to animate that arrow on hover. All right, so each of these modifications requires a line or two of code, and you can find them all in this episode's accompanying blog post at the Elegant Themes blog. So if you're watching this on YouTube, all you need to do is check the description for a link. Everyone else, go to elegantthemes.com slash blog. Um, all of our podcasts are in the community category. I'm in it right now. As I scroll down, you can see that all of the podcasts are right here. Uh, Full-length episodes and Divination shorts. There's not a lot of them in there. Feel free to browse around. Uh, to find this specific episode, I can give you the title name. It's Divination Short. Three super simple Divi header modifications. If you just type in that whole title or part of it right here, you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Um, if you need a second uh, to go get the code before we move into the Divi quick tips, um, I'd recommend pausing this video now. Um, I'll give you a second to do that, and when you come back, we'll get after it. Okay, here we go. So let's figure out first up. I'm going to show you how to display your site title instead of the Divi logo image. So there are two steps to this Divi quick tip. Step one is you need to make sure that your header.php file is actually in your child theme because that's what we're going to edit. Um, you can do that. Um, if you're not sure, you can check that by going to appearance, editor, and right over here, and you want to make sure that you're actually using a child theme. Um, so this will say this child theme inherits templates from a parent theme, Divi. That's what you want. Um, of course, I have the, the uh, header.php file here because I made sure it was in there. If you don't have the header.php file in your child theme, here's what you do. You want to access your uh, the FTP or SFTP of your site so you can get to the file tree, and you're going to duplicate the header.php file from Divi parent theme to your Divi child theme. And here's how you do that. So I'm already in here um, on mine. And you're going to want to go to uh, WP content themes and open up Divi and your Divi child theme. And so what you want to do once you're in uh, Divi is find the header.php file, right click on it, duplicate it. and then drag it down into your child theme folder. So I actually already have it in here, but what I'm going to do instead of uh, keep what I have is I'm actually going to delete what I have so that I can do it all over with you guys. Uh, so delete that. And what I have here now is header copy.php. I want to delete the copy part of that. So Get in there, and I just wanted to say header.php. All right, so that's saved now. Um, I can minimize that. I'll refresh here. And here's what you want to do. Open up your header.php file, and there's a single line of code in here that tells your theme to display a logo image instead of the logo title, or instead of your site title, rather. And you want to find that and replace it with the single line of code that we provided. So here's how to do that very simply. Just highlight our example um, that we have in our post of the line of code that you're looking for. Uh, 
So highlight it in the post, copy it, come back into the editor and click find, uh, or press the find button rather uh, on a Mac, it's command F and just paste that into there. Boom. It's going to highlight the code that you want to replace. So you can exit out of that. I can now highlight this code and then I can just simply replace it with this new bit of code, this new single line of code. And what this has in here is I can select a font family, um, color, font size, font weight. And again, this is going to display the name of my site. If you don't put any styles in there or if you change the styles uh, or remove them, it's going to uh, basically Divi's just going to style that with the default uh, body text. So you're probably going to want uh, some styling on there. Uh, if you want more options on font, you can go to a link I've provided in the blog post for W3 Schools. That has a few other web safe fonts you can use. When you're done making these edits, go out and click Update File. So now you can go back to the front end, refresh, and there you have your site title instead of a logo image. All right, so next up, we've got what I'm calling the slide over menu effect. So this is a subtle little trick. Um, so before we make any changes, uh, let me show you what the new slide in menu option is and what it's supposed to look like uh, before I make any changes to it. So this is the default menu. We're gonna go into customizer. So that's, uh, let me get out just so I can show you, make sure everybody's following along. Appearance, customize, or Divi theme customizer, either one. And we wanna go to header and navigation, header format. And I have it set on default right now, but I'm gonna select the slide in for uh, this Divi quick tip and make sure I save and publish that. So what the slide in looks like when activated is a little ham hamburger menu right here. When you click on that, it's gonna push the whole page container to the left and the menu is gonna slide in from the left. The chain, I'll show, you, I'll show you that one more time. Okay, so see how everything slides left? Uh, the change that we're gonna make um, will not move the page container. Instead of pushing everything left, uh, this menu is gonna slide in over top of the page container. So it's more of a slide over instead of a uh, slide in. All right, so let's get to it. What we need to do is copy the CSS snippet from the accompanying blog post and then head back to Divi theme options. So go to Divi theme options and scroll down to the bottom. I'll let my site catch up here. Scroll down to the bottom to the custom CSS panel. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it. Now I've got this already here, but I've got it commented out. So I'm simply going to uncomment that, save my changes. So this is my header slide over. And when I refresh on the front end, I'll show you how that changed things. So now when I press this, the page container is gonna stay where it's at and the, uh, the menu is gonna slide left. There it is. Very subtle, but kind of cool. All right, moving on. For our final modification, we're gonna add a fun little 360 degree rotation animation effect to your drop down menu arrows. So this effect will work on the three classic Divi menu styles, the default, centered, and centered inline. So back in the customizer under header style, I can choose default, centered, or centered inline logo. I'm gonna choose default, save and publish, come back out here, and here we have the default menu with the drop down menu, and I don't know if you noticed that, but when I hover over drop down menu, I already have the code pasted in. Um, there's a little 360 degree swirl that that does. If you wanna get that on yours, all you need to do, once again, is go to the accompanying blog post, grab the few lines of CSS that we provided there under uh, add a 360 degree rotation animation and go to Divi, theme options, back down to your custom CSS panel and put it in right here, right at the top. When you've done that, save your changes and you can go back to the front and enjoy this nice little micro interaction. Again, this is really, really subtle, 
But what's so cool about it is it's just these small little touches that help elevate your site or make your site just that much more enjoyable um, to improve your user experience for visitors. That's what this is all about. And with that, it looks like it's time to wrap up another Divi Nation short. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, you can simply drop them in the comments section wherever you're watching or listening to this. It might be on the blog, on Facebook, on YouTube. Well, wherever it's at, I'll probably see it and do my best to respond in a timely manner. Uh, you can also email me directly at podcast at elegantthemes.com. So next week, we'll be back with another full-length episode featuring none other than Pippin Williamson of Pippin's Plugin. And I got to tell you, if his recorded interview is anything like our pre-interview, then I think you guys are really going to love what he has to say. So I've got one final announcement before I sign off. Uh, when this episode goes live Friday morning, I'll be in Dayton, Ohio at WordCamp Dayton. I'll be attending some talks on Friday, and then Saturday, I'll be giving the morning keynote. Uh, the topic I'll be speaking on is how we grew the Elegant Themes blog to over 1 million monthly visitors. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to tell the story of the Elegant Themes blog from its humble beginnings as a simple way to uh, just communicate with the community and announce new products and bug fixes um, to one of the most visited blogs about WordPress in the world in 2015. In the talk, I'm going to walk through the strategies that we adopted uh, that have resulted in some really dramatic growth over the last few years, um, as well as provide a peek behind the scenes at what we're doing now to keep that growth streak alive. So I'm not sure what the video setup there will be, but I plan on sharing my presentation with all of you, whether that's on WordPress.tv or some type of recording of our own. I'll probably have to figure that out at the event. Point being, keep your eye open for that um, in the near future because it's going to be coming your way. If you want to follow along uh, with what's happening at WordCamp Dayton, you can follow their uh, their account. It's at Dayton WP. Um, you can also track their hashtag, WC Dayton. All right. Well, that's all I got for you this week. I'll see you next Friday with our guest, Pippin Williamson.